siku ya madaraka day lakini rais ameipindua kuwa madarao day you know I, i don't understand and i also ask is our president surely no more for this time i think there is something problem i don't know it's health kwa sababu hii imepita mambo ya kibuli kibuli choki imepita kiasi yake Rais wetu just remember that you have one heart roho yako ni moja lakini roho za wa Kenyans ni milioni 47 the behavior you are doing now it is scaring to Kenyans ile tabia uko naye it is scaring to Kenyans the way you are putting is scaring the Kenyans ni ugonjwa mentally spiritually sick or what is the problem because the mambo nafanya from independent wakati ya baba yako haijafanyika madhara hiyo umefanya siku ya leo haijafanyika wewe unakuwa one man show na kuita wageni kuwa nje wageni wa nje wanatuuzu na nini is it planning of where you go to live or what is the problem eh ama ni baada watengeza kwenda kutafuta gold kwa sababu hii ni madharau ya hali ya juu and i have told you and i have repeated repeated wakati tulitwita washenzi Mombasa ukiwa na watu wa upinzani and nimekubali watu ya Mungu iko uchawi because we cannot believe that the president can behave that way nataka kuambia ana Kenya hapendi Kenya kwa sababu anataka kuleta chaos in this country hiyo project yako unasukumana naye hiyo project yako unasukumana naye let me tell you Please ujue iko Mungu mbinguni. There is God in heaven. Ile madhara unafanya deputy president wako na bibi yake na mbele ya wananchi ya Kenya. Na ndio unafanyaga mimi hiyo maombi inaenda kwa huko kasara I will never go kwa sababu it's a fake prayer. Ni maombi fake. I cannot stay with the hypocrisy in the table myself. Ten years I have never gone for that prayer and I will never go for that prayer. Kama maombi inakuwa kana mna hiyo naona mpaka sakramenti unapewa na kanisa yako sakramenti wakati wanajua roho yako iko na chuki tunaambiwa na kanisa kupokea sakramenti ni wakati umejiosha mwenyewe you are doing everything by force sakramenti unakuwa wakati chuki imejaa katika roho yako everything ni hasira ni chuki unafanyia dev the present campaign madhara hiyo umefanya katika Kenya mzima Mungu anajua akiwa binguni na wananchi wa Kenya wa Kenya wameona ile project unatuuzia unatuuzia project ya hasira nimeshtuka sikufikiria umefika kiwango hiyo nao what am i going to tell Kenya bilid kwa sababu naonekana rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya ako na mpango ya kuchukua serikali na nguvu neither kuiba neither kupeana kwa wajeshi ile anapanga Neither something you be there and the blood shed you be in Kenya and you be answerable. ICC are you checking this thing? Mujukue hiyo mtu mpeleke huko kwenu jela. Awachane na sisi. Awachane na nchi ya Kenya. Kwa sababu atapiganisha nchi yetu ya Kenya. Ile madhalao ninaona na mpango ile anaye mpango mbaya sana. Kama ijafanyika kutoka independent hata baba yake. I'm sure even his father wali pali iko binguni. Moi baadhi yako binguni. Kibake baadhi yako binguni. Wanamshangao kubwa kwa kuona changes ambayo imefanywa haijafanyika katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. It has never happened. But now, na hizi kama unataka kupiganisha watu, watoto kidio pale, watoto wanakufa when you are there and you are calling yourself a president. Watoto wanakatwa kichwa. Watoto wa miaka 10 wanapigwa risasi kichwa. Lakini wewe bado unaenda kuoneshana madharau na show show down hilo unafanya hapa nakuru unalete eh pia sikageka unamleta hapo unampa pesa na unasema azunguke hapa akipeana watu pesa waazimio na wanasema there is not your project it's your project gari zote baka za munya baka za nani yote ziko hapo mwishalo the wao here do you think you can come and by force you ufanye basi upindue serikali yako na upe majeshi kama ndio unataka ama ufanye vile unataka lakini inchi ya Kenya iko na Mungu. Na Mungu ata protect sisi. 
Na mimi nikauliza watu yangu wote pale tulipo Kenya. Sisi wote kwa jumla. Msiseme hata Nyanza, hata Kakamega, hata Central, hata Mombasa, hata watu wa Kilio pale wana uao kama umbwa akijiangalia, akijienjoy mwenyewe, akiangalia watoto wadogo wakikatwa kichwa. Na nilimtumia. Don't say your president don't have that clip. I send you that clip. Four days ago. Na nikakuoneza vile watoto wamekatwa kichwa na mkono imewekwa kando. I showed you. Vile watoto wa miaka 10 wanapigwa risasi kichwa. I send you that clip. Lakini wewe bado unafikiria mambo ya uongozi. Unafikiria bado ya kuplant watu wakuwe viongozi. This country bila unaipeleka wewe I want to tell you and I'm telling you you are naked. And I cannot hide you. Mimi nimekuwa na wewe nimekusaidia kufanya hiyo siasa tangu siku ya kanu. Lakini ukifanya makosa nitakwambia ni makosa. I'm not abusing but I'm telling you it is a shame the way you are doing things. It is a shame. Na ningeuliza David the president tulia gojea wakati ya Mungu. Wakati ya Mungu David the president inakuja. Wewe ni kijana unaitoroa kwa jangwani na akakuja akamwekoa mafuta. Be patient, be happy because of God. Furahia Mungu David the president. Madhara ile unafanywa siku moja watakusalimia kwa heshima. Siku moja Kenyans wataheshimu kwa ile kazi wewe umefanya. They will respect you and I want to tell you by today. Hii ndio celebration ya madaraka ya mwisho wa uhuru mkae Kenyatta. And maybe you never see another one kwa sababu hiyo collection nataka kutengeneza it will not help him na ningeuliza watu wote Kenya tuweke amani hasa watu watu wa Rift Valley tuweke amani madharao hiyo inatufanyia campaign and we are going to win na tutakomboa nchi yetu ya Kenya hii Kenya lazima ikombolewe na tuzifikirie mambo ya nyuma watoto wa Israeli walikaa miaka 40 jangwani kwa sababu ya kufikiria pahali walitoka si watu wafikiria pahali tumetoka tunataka kufikiria pahali tunaenda And where we are going there is la, there is light in the tunnel I want to tell you that tuungane sisi wote no matter which party or which party but to kombowe Kenya neither ukiwa UDA ukiwa Azimio ukiwa nini mjue Kenya kwanza ndio kitu ya muhimu na viongozi wetu ninawauliza kina Budabadi kina Weta eh mukubali muendelee kushikanisha watu na kuunganisha watu na mimi nitashukuru sana na ninasema God is with us. Sio mbaki usiku na mchana, au pray day and night kwa sababu ya nchi yetu ya Kenya. Au pray day and night kwa sababu ya madharau ya deputy president. By deputy president, our deputy president, the next president, pumilia utapeana historia gani? Hii historia unatengenezewa ile utaizungumzia madharau ambayo uliweza kufanywa. Na Mungu atakupea kitu wa kufanyaga wewe uwe humble kwa kufikiria Pahali Mungu amekutoa na pahali Mungu akakupeleka. God can get you from nowhere to somewhere. God will get you from from where do it? Pahali hakuna mtu baba yako hana jina. Atakutoa huko na atakufanya mwangaza ya Kenya mzima. Na itakuwa ni mambo mazuri, pumilia, pumilia, pumilia.